What's going on YouTube? Um, I just wanted to come to you with a quick review on this uh, 60 inch Sharp TV 4K and it's the 60 um, it's the 60 inch 7000 U version and uh, I thought for $800 I'd get a little more, more bang for my buck but it's a decent TV the fact only thing really thing I don't like is 60 Hertz at 4K in the 60 inch TV I'm thinking for 800 I can get 120 Hertz because previously I had the uh, Vizio it's a 50 inch, it was a 4K TV, but it was 120 hertz, and that picture was beautiful. I sad to say it's better than this this one, the 60 inch sharp. I don't know because the TV's a little bigger or the brand or whatever, but um, the video was a lot better. But I like the TV, I just don't like the 60 hertz. And it has, it says it has uh, HDR enabling, whatever, but I haven't found the setting in here that shows HDR. Um, I don't know if maybe I have to hook my game up to it first for it to come through, but I'm looking here in the, uh, the settings. It doesn't say anything about HDR. I mean, if you guys can help me out, if you have this TV or know where I'm supposed to go, that would be great if you can let me know. But, like, these are just the basic features. Um, if I go to advanced pictures, it doesn't say anything about HDR, overscan, display, ultra smooth motion, um, See, as the color and temperature and all that, and that's pretty much it. it. Doesn't say anything about HDR. Now let me back up here. Let's see, picture. That's nothing but a few modes, like as far as that game, sports, and stuff like that. But no HDR. I don't know if there's a certain setting I have to go into, or this internet and this right here function. Let's try if I, well, it's the same thing. Probably advanced settings. I don't say is anything about any HDR, but um, if you can help me out on that, that'd be great. But um, yeah, man, the TV's okay. I'm gonna show you a little quick little video, but the the sound quality is beautiful. It's great. But here's a quick little video. You're not gonna be able to see what I see because this is not a 4K camera. I'm recording from my cell phone, but I didn't see any video on YouTube with the 60 inch Sharp TV, the 7000 new version. Oh, yeah, but it's a decent TV, man. But for eight hundred dollars, I'm thinking I'm gonna get all the bells and whistles. But I guess not, because I paid five hundred. Let's see, yeah, five hundred for the uh, Vizio fifty inch four K, and it's a hundred and twenty refresh rate, and it's beautiful. I don't know, cause it's smaller and the pixels are more smaller, so it looks better. But it's a lot better than this one and then sometimes like when I put it on ultra smooth in the settings let me uh, pull it back up for you one thing I did notice that I didn't like it's like when I um let me see I go on the picture okay picture and this setting right here the um ultra smooth motion when I go to smooth sometimes it like glitches a little bit like it freezes and I didn't like that too much. When I put it on standard and clear, it doesn't do it too much. But when I put it on um, ultra smooth motion, smooth, it started stuttering a little bit, which I didn't like. I thought it was a cable or whatever, but it wasn't the cable, it was the TV. And someone didn't mention that before that I looked up, it glitched a little bit. But um, it's, it's a pretty cool TV, I guess. I mean, I'm getting my PlayStation 4 Pro uh, next week or around Christmas time, before Christmas. So I want to see how that plays and see if the HDR automatically kicks in. I doesn't know how that works, but hopefully a setting pops up with that. But um, it has a few apps on here. It has the Pandora, the 4K Now, the Ultra 4K Flix, uh, AOL, and the, you know, the normal. have a few games and it has a TV browser, which I do like. Um, stuff for the kids. and It's pretty cool features and stuff, man. I like that. And... Uh, and I have, what I do like, what I did like, I will say, uh, the Netflix and the Ultra 4K, like, um, it looks pretty good. I'm not going to lie about that. Anything in 4K looks good. But, like, this for, like, regular TV, like your H HBOs and stuff like that, it's, it's okay, but sometimes it, like, glitches a little bit. I don't know what that's about. But, um, I like it, man. It's okay. But I'll, the real test will come when I get the PS4 Pro next week. I'll put that up on there. And... I'll have a better camera too, so you can see the difference a little bit. But uh, I just wanted to give you a little quick update, quick little review on the Sharp 4K uh, 
60 in 7,000 U because I didn't see anything on there. But uh, it's a decent TV, man. I, I guess, I mean, shit, for $800, you ain't gonna beat it. If you want bells and whistles, you probably won't have to pay probably a thousand or a little more. But uh, got the three HDMI ports back there. I have the 4K um, cord right here. And uh, that's pretty much it, man. It's pretty thin. I mean, I like it. It looks beautiful and it's big. That's why I like it. That's why I upgraded to the 60. I thought it would get a little better picture, too, because Sharp is not a bad brand. But I yeah, get my fireplace down there. But uh, that's it, man. I'm going to um, switch it up. A little, let's put it on another video because I don't copyright and all that shit. So let's try Ali see how that looks. That's good. Yeah, that's it, man. Thanks, man, for watching. Appreciate it.